Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to briefly explore some of the elements of the Power BI service. Once you have signed in to the Power BI service, you'll see the welcome screen here that just greets you. And this screen here, if you can't see the screen here, you need to click on the Power BI homepage. This is a Power BI homepage that will give you this interface. So depending on the data that you've already added to the Power BI service, it will reflect in this screen here, this home screen. So on the left here, we have got the navigation pane and this here is known as the Office 365 app launcher. This enables you to launch an app that you can interact with inside the Power BI service. So if I click on this here, it will launch the Office 365 apps. So if there's any apps you want to work with inside the Power BI service, you can access it from there. Next, if we take a look at here, we have some icons here including the settings icon. So if you just move your mouse over these icons, it will tell you what the icons, what they represent. Next, we also have a search box here. So if you want to search for stuff that might be inside the Power BI service. And then here we've got favorites and frequent. So anything that you have used frequently and your favorites, will be listed in this area here. And then on that recent, you'll have the most recent things that you've interacted with inside the Power BI service. You also have workspaces. So if you have any workspaces, they will also be listed inside this workspace area. And then you may have this recommended app. So you have a list of apps that Power BI service has recommended for you to use. If you want to interact with data, you can also do that. You can see here, there is a link that says get data. If you click on that link here inside the Power BI service, there are different ways to interact with data. If you want to discover apps published by other people in your organization, you can get that from there. If you want to connect to different types of services, and interact with data there. You can do that by just clicking on the get button. If you want to bring in your own reports, your workbooks or data from Excel or the Power BI desktop or even CSV files, you can do that by just clicking on the get button. That will um, open up and allow you to pick where you want to reference the data from. Also, you can get data from databases. If you want to create a new content, you can do that from databases and also from files. But if you want to discover existing content, you can do that using this My Organization and then the services. Your end users for your reports and dashboards will have the same view as you have because you are viewing all this inside the web browser. So they will have the same access to what you can see. So that's it for this video. In this video, I briefly explored some of the elements within the Power BI service. If you notice on the top here, we've also got my workspace and the get data. So this get data here is the same as this link. So you can also access it from there. If you want to return back to the Power BI homepage, you just click on this icon here that says Power BI, and that will take you back to the home screen. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.